The buttons on your website play a significant role in its appearance and usability. They help visitors navigate across different pages and make it easy for them to perform important actions. It's crucial that you have a simple yet effective way of inserting and customizing this essential element. Fortunately, the WordPress buttons block can help. To add a button to your WordPress content, first navigate to the post or page where you want to insert it. Next, click on the add block icon, which is this plus sign right here. Search for buttons and select the first option. You can also add the buttons block by typing slash buttons into the text editor and hit enter. Each WordPress block comes with its own set of controls and configuration options. When adding buttons, there are quite a few options for linking, aligning, and styling them. We'll start by exploring the text and link settings. When you first insert the buttons block, a default button will be added with placeholder content. When you click on the text field, you can change the text to whatever you want the button to say. This right here is the link icon, which you can use to determine where the button will direct users to. Now you can begin to format and customize this button. First, you can choose to bold or italicize the button's text. If you click on the down arrow, you'll see some additional options like inline code, inline image, keyboard input, strike through, subscript, superscript, and text color. The last step in customizing your button is to select its style, typography, and colors. You can do all this using the controls in the blocks sidebar menu. To pull this up, go to the settings icon here at the top right, and all those options will appear. The two style options you have are fill and outline. You can make your selection by clicking on the icon with the preview or selecting your desired look from the default style dropdown menu. Next, under the typography section, you can choose a font size for your button's text. The options range from small to larger. And of course, you could enter a custom size right here. In the color panel, you could choose from the list of available options or select a custom shade. Note that for your background color, you could select between solid and gradient. There are a lot of ways you can use buttons on your WordPress site, and we hope that this quick overview helped. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.